Merry Christmas, everybody. Compliments of the season. I wish you a fantastic Christmas celebration and the best wishes for 2019. From Delight Channel and all the members of this team, we wish you a most wonderful celebration and an exciting season. And um, in the middle of the rice, in the middle of the drinks, in the middle of the fun, in the middle of the holiday, remember that we still need to go back and make money after spending the one that we are spending now. So let's spend a few minutes just to focus on what we've been talking about, which has to do with change and change management. And we said that change management goes through a journey of freeze, change, refreeze. And we are said we were going to walk through seven steps on the change management process that you need to be aware of so that that knowledge helps you to know what you need to do. We identify number one is to identify what really needs to change. Number two is to evaluate and build a case for that change. Number three, which was where we stopped last week, was on communication. Another communication we said you need to identify who your stakeholders are and engage them all right you need to be deliberate to ensure that you find out what is their interest what are what is their level of influence and ensure you do not miss out those that are very critical particularly in the change management process why because the next point we said under that was that when you start your change communication don't think that everybody you are talking to will listen to you or hear you from the same perspective. That's why we said there are four different types of people in the audience that you are speaking to anytime you are having your change management communication. The clearer you see them, the easier is it for you to deal with them and respond to them appropriately. We identify the four. Can you remember? We identify the active resistor. We identify the passive resistor. We identified the rank and file. We also identified the change agent. Now, let's quickly go through this and that will be all we'll try to cover this week so that you can get back to your celebrations. Number one is the active resistor. These are the guys that will say no to the change. They will say it to your face. They will take steps to sabotage the effort. They will take steps to halt it. Believe me, they are not your worst enemies. As a matter of fact, if you can identify them very well, they may end up being your best friends. Why? They will shoot down everything you are putting up. And their shooting it down helps you to either see whether you have done enough job of identifying what needs to change, or whether you have done a good enough job of building the case for it after the evaluation or not. So, when they fire it, don't be angry. Don't quarrel. Don't take them as enemies. Don't take them as negative. Listen, if they have a basis, it will come out. If they don't have a basis, it will come out. If it so happens that you probably missed out certain things during the evaluation and building the case for it, quickly go back in the spirit of transparency and trying to be objective in what you are trying to do. Fix it. And the more you speak directly to them, the less you give the grapevine an opportunity to flourish and undermine what you are trying to do. The active resistor is in your face. You can't miss it. The most difficult group, the most difficult person you should be afraid of in your change management journey is the passive resistor. It's all smiles. Oh, yes, yes. All okay, maybe. They will never confront you in public. You may even be confiding in them, but behind they generate and radiate negative energy for the change. And because you can't see them clearly, many times it's very difficult to catch them. And if such people happen to be close home or on the power interest matrix, they are high power, high interest, or they are high power, low interest. They are people who can influence what you are doing you got a tough job on your plate. You need to quickly identify who are the passive resistors and engage them. Confront them. Don't let them lie. Don't let them hide. Don't let them continue to remain on the ground. 
That is why we said communication is one of the most important variables in this journey. Illuminate all the things you are hearing, whether grapevine, apple vine, whatever vine you are hearing them from, illuminate it. Don't wait because your silence may make it gather steam, gather strength, and then it makes it more complicated. So watch out for the passive resistors because they are the most troublesome one when you are dealing with change. The next group are the rank and file. They got no mind of their own. They are only waiting for where the majority, where the pendulum will swing and they just follow. Now, it means that if the change opposition is the one that gets the upper hand, you have lost the rank and file because they will follow. But if the change agents are able to get the upper hand, you have also won the rank and file because they will just follow. Therefore, what do you need to do for the rank and file? Ensure you connect them to the last set, which I will talk about, which is the change agent. Connect them to the change agent. Let them be fed with information. Let them be propelled to move towards the change. They are undecided. They are indifferent. But don't take their indifference for granted. Enlist them. Engage them. Cut them. Let them see clearly what the business case is saying. Let them understand clearly what you are trying to do. And the more of them you are able to turn to change agents, the easier for you. Now, the most important group you need to bring closer, that you need to deliberately see how you are, how you are going to expand, are the change agents. These are people who have been waiting. I mean, the change didn't come nearly early enough. They are so eager. They are all over. They are ready. They are passionate about it. These are the people you now need to bring closer, empower them with details, empower them with information, turn them into your feedback channel, unleash them on the rank and file, unleash them on the active resistor, unleash them on the passive resistor. As a matter of fact, if you will be able to identify who the passive resistors are, the change agents are your best role to identify in them. So let them know what is going on. You can't afford to leave them in the dark. Because in the process of engaging the active resistor, the passive resistor, the rank and file, if anything comes up and they cannot speak authoritatively, you weaken their strength, you weaken their base, you weaken their capacity. And this is very similar to Christmas. You know what? We all celebrate Christmas, but Christmas goes beyond food and, and drinks. There's a reason for the Christmas. God so loved the world, he sent his only begotten son to save the world. The question I'm asking this season is, which group are you? There are those who have embraced this opportunity. They've dropped their sins. They've moved close to Christ and they are ready for the change and transformation that is able to do. There are those who are close. They go to church. They call themselves Christians, but they are just on their lips. Nothing is going down their lives. The Bible says that when a man becomes a new creature, all things pass away, everything becomes new. There's nothing new for them. The active resistors, you know them, they are those who are hostile, but with information and with experience, they can change. The question I leave you with this video is, which group are you? Are you on the active resistor group? Are you in the passive resistor group? Are you in the rank and file group? Or you have moved on to join the change agent, those who have experienced it. It's an opportunity for you to make that connection this Christmas season. And I encourage you to do that and everything will never be the same again. Of course, you know that by the time the next video is coming out, we will be just tearing at 2019 a few days ahead. And I hope you're going to make it a date with us as we continue this conversation and situate it in the season that we are in so that very, very soon, starting January 2019, you can start taking steps that will lead you to living your dream. T-Mark is still my name. It hasn't changed. Thanks so much for all the love that you've shown us this year. And like I asked in the last two videos, I'm asking again this week, have you done an assessment of 2018? Have you identified your gaps? What are you doing to make 2019 a better year than 2018? We are here to help you anyhow we may be able to. Until I see you next week, when we will be celebrating our entry into 2019, Please 
spread the news, share it very widely, and don't ever forget that Team Mark is still my name, and all I'm trying to do is what? Make it into difference. See you next week, and compliments of the season. Bye!